Okay, my name's Alice and I am the course director of the Bachelor of Paramedicine, also down at the lovely Peninsula campus. Hopefully by the end of this, even if you take not much else out of it, you'll take out of the fact that Peninsula campus is a really nice place to study. So the Bachelor of Paramedicine, if you have watched any of those triple zero TV shows, you'll think that paramedicine is all lights and sirens and driving fast to attend to car crashes and things like that. And that definitely is a component of the job, but paramedics actually do a lot more than what people realise. They've got really finely tuned assessment skills and they use those to identify a really wide range of issues. They get very limited information from their call out and they use that information to then attend to a patient where they need to figure out what's wrong and they also need to figure out what the best point of care for that patient is. That might be the emergency department, it might be allied health, it might be a GP or it might be an ongoing care plan. There are lots of different places where you can study paramedicine, but why would you want to do it at Monash? We are the most established paramedicine program in Australia. We're currently working with the Department of Health to introduce an entirely new role into our health system, which is the paramedic practitioner. And this is a role for experienced paramedics that is going to start working in sort of urgent care centres and eventually in emergency departments as well. So we really are doing some groundbreaking work within the field of paramedicine, but also the health system at large. We have got a really great reputation for providing quality graduates, and that's not just in Australia, but it's also internationally as well. A lot of our graduates go over and we've got graduates currently working in New Zealand, the UK, um, Canada and the US as well. We also have quite, I think, a fun program and our courses, our classes are quite small in size and they're really hands on and practical. As an example, I think our third years this year today, they studied um, managing a patient who was having an overdose. And this might be from uh, a intentional overdose or might be a, a pharmaceutical error, a whole variety of different causes of overdose. And then tomorrow they are studying birth. So they will be managing a postpartum hemorrhage as well as a neonatal resuscitation. And then on Thursday, they're doing a mass casualty scenario and there'll be, I think, close to 100 people around campus. So Luke and Mick, watch out on Thursday. If you're on campus, it's going to be busy. We have our own ambulances and the students will be driving around campus managing the mass casualty situation. So it is a really fun, engaging course. We have quite an interdisciplinary team. We've got a lot of on-road paramedics working within the team. My clinical background is as a midwife. We also have nurses and GPs as well. And a lot of our clinicians who work within the department are still working in their clinical roles too. We do a lot of work with Fire Rescue Victoria. So our students get the opportunity to go and participate in simulations with them. Um, and we do a lot of work as again, obviously with Ambulance Victoria. So the need to know information, we take applications via VTAC and we give or take have approximately 150 places per year. This does go up and down per year. It's not controlled by us, but there is a bit of fluctuation there year to year. We are quite set with our requirements. The course is three years full-time or six years part-time. There is no mid-year intake and there are no elective subjects. This is because we are an APRA accredited course and you need to meet all the course requirements in order to have that registration when you finish. We do accept um, internal course transfers and our main prerequisite is simply a 25 in English. Last year, the lowest rank that we made an offer to was 82.4. The other need to know information for the course is that we expect students to be on campus around three days per week and then have all their pre-learning to do at home. If you can imagine the breadth of uh, cases that paramedics attend to, there is a lot of content in this course that students need to learn. To complement that at home learning and the classroom learning, we do do clinical placements and these start right from the first year of the degree. We've got the same sort of um, immunization and screening tests that Luke and Mick have already spoken to. But what sets us apart is that we do also have a medical and physical screening test. So this is a fitness test that is done in the first year of the degree and a medical test as well. 
that we do this because a large percentage of our graduates are hoping to get a job with Ambulance Victoria. And so we do this screening in the first year of the degree just to make sure that students actually would meet the requirements of that provider. Um, we uh, work with students and we're more than welcome to fail the fitness test and we can work with you and give you another chance to pass it. But we really want to work with students to make sure that, you know, this is a career they're going to be able to maintain long term. Our clinical placements, we start in first year with placements that are going to enable your questioning and your patient assessment skills. So our students will go out to aged care placements, they go to event first aid, a whole lot of our students were lucky enough to do first aid at the Taylor Swift concert when Taylor Swift came here. But more commonly, they're sort of at the football doing event first aid or they're providing disability support to really refine their communication, professionalism skills. And then in the second year, you'll start ambulance placements. We do these in two blocks per year of second year and third year. And we also have a suite of hospital placements as well. It's really hard for us as um, unis to control what kind of cases our students are going to see when they go out for their ambulance placement. So in order to ensure a little bit of that control, our students do quite a bit of hospital placement as well. So our students will go into the birth suite so they can hopefully try and see a birth. They'll also go into the emergency department. They'll go into operating theatres, ICUs, hospital in the home. It's a real variety of clinical placement just to ensure they get a real variety of experiences before they graduate. Like I alluded to earlier, paramedics attend to all different kinds of jobs every single day. And so our classes reflect that also. In the first year of the degree, you're going to be learning basic things about the human body, anatomy, the health system, some research skills, as well as some real foundational paramedic skills. So how to assess your patient and interview your patient to get out the information that you need to know to come up with a potential diagnosis. Then throughout the second year of the course, you're going to go into advanced life support. It's when you're going to learn how to do high performance CPR. We're going to look at pharma management, looking at all the different medications that either we get, that students can give as a paramedic or that the patient may be taking and the implications of these. We're going to look at cardiorespiratory, so learning about things like asthma, heart attacks. So we're going to do trauma and medical. This is when you get to, we've got a, um, a car crash on campus so we've got a smashed up car and you're going to learn how to attend to patients who've been in a car accident we also go into mental health because we know that this a huge percentage of cases what paramedics are seen today are actually mental health related cases we do have an actor that comes in for these classes and we do really realistic simulations in all of our classes we're also going to be looking at extended care, so things beyond the emergency call and how can we support these patients as well as maternal, neonatal health so when you're learning about birth um, and all the clinical placement units and these run along every year of the degree. A really big component of our curriculum is made up through simulation. And it's something that we really pride ourselves on in our teaching in the Department of Paramedicine. As I already said, we've got a car yard with smashed up cars. We have our own ambulances where students drive very slowly around campus and they take out the radios, they'll get radio to a job, they'll drive up exactly like they would in real life. And we also have our own apartment as well to try and make this simulation as realistic as possible. Um, in the first year, we often bring in a dog to allow students to have to navigate, you know, what do you do if you're doing a patient assessment? All of a sudden, someone's dog comes up and starts licking you. All the small things that we try to add to the simulations. I know in my class, in a Wednesday, we always get yelled out for our students are so involved in their birthing simulations that they're making too much noise and it's, it's too noisy for the other classes. But our students really love participating as both the patient and the paramedic in these simulations. We do also have an immersive simulation lab where you'll be fortunate enough to do a few and really immersive days of simulation as well. Okay, nice and quick. That is me done. I am going to hand over to Julia, a third year student, and she's gonna tell you what it's like being a student in the Bachelor of Paramedicine. Hi everybody. Um, yeah, I'm a third year student, Julia. 
Um, Alice has already given a really good overview of paramedicine, um, but just a bit more about the classroom experience. So throughout the years of study, uh, we have lots of different types of classes. So it's not just um, lectures, which are done online, but we also have uh, practical classes uh, and tutorial classes where we go more into different pathophysiology and um, get to understand the reason behind what we're doing in the practical classes as well. Uh, and then in, in first year, there's a bit more variation because we uh, have a unit called uh, BMA, which focuses on anatomy and physiology. And there are workshops for that, where it's really just integrated uh, learning with your peers to uh, get to understand more about the body. So there's a good variation of classes to keep you really engaged uh, in the experience. And Alice has also um, touched on how we have some simulation type days. Um, so that these are run on campus, but also off campus at another site. Uh, and these are really good opportunities, I think, for us to be able to get out of our comfort zone and to grow in our confidence because being a paramedic is a, it's like you're, we often say it's like you're a duck on water, you're paddling really hard underneath, but from the top, you look really calm. Um, so that's kind of what we um, aim to grow in our confidence and everything like that. Um, as you can see in the pictures, uh, there's some placement experience. So this is both uh, ambulance experience and also hospital experience that we get to do. Uh, but in our first year, it's mainly community-based experience. So we go to special development schools, aged care facilities, um, to kind of to get to know different community groups and to work on our communication skills. And then from second year, we get to go on ambulance placements. And this is both within the metropolitan area as well as the rural area. And we also do hospital placements as well. Uh, and now in third year, it's the same, but we also have additional maternity placements. So for me, I have been, uh, I've mainly been to rural locations, uh, Mildura for hospital twice actually, but in different departments. So first time was with hospital in the home. And then the second time I, this year, I went to the mental health department and these hospital experiences, while it's not necessarily what we do as paramedics, it's really helpful to understand and see what they do uh, in, you know, the hospital setting, because if you know what they're going to do there, then it helps you outside when you're thinking of where to take your patient and everything like that as well. Um, so it was a really good chance to get to know more about what they do in the hospital. Uh, and then for my ambulance placements, I've been out to Ararat and Phillip Island, and I've also done it in the local area as well. Uh, and all of these different locations provide you with such a unique experience of uh, different community groups and different conditions because you notice that there's a bit of a contrast between um, areas of Victoria of what people are experiencing. Uh, and the paramedics, they're all um, really engaged in seeing you learn and grow. So all of those ambulance placements are really good. Um, you get to work on your ability to also interact with patients and lead jobs. So when you first go on your placement, you're mainly watching, but um, as you progress into your third year and get up to your final placement box, they allow you to take more autonomy towards um, deciding what to do with patient management, but it's okay because if you don't know what to do, the paramedics always have your back in that. Um, yeah, so paramedicine has a lot of great opportunities uh, for you to grow more in your clinical knowledge, but also your confidence as a person. And yeah, it's a really awesome degree.